Solving negative 8x minus 8 is less than 6x minus 1. There are variables on both sides of the inequality. So we have to combine like terms. x is on one side and numbers onto the other side. I will first cancel the negative 8. I will combine the numbers first. It's a negative 8, so I'm going to add 8 onto both sides. Notice how I organize the steps vertically by combining like terms, numbers with numbers. Negative 1 plus 8 will then give me a 7. Then anything that I did not do anything to, I will bring down. Like the 6x, I did not do anything to it, so I bring it down. The less than, the 8's cancel, so I don't have to rewrite them, but I am going to bring down the negative 8x. The 7 is a positive 7, so it's a plus 7. I'm going to imitate the same step now with the x's. I will move x's onto the other side. I will attempt to cancel the 6x. I will do so by subtracting 6x from both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the math after I have organized the step vertically. 6 is cancelled on one side, 8x minus 6x, since they are both negatives, you add them, will give you negative 14x. Bring down my inequality symbol, and I'm going to bring down my 7. Last step is to divide by a negative 14. And again, every time you divide by a negative, the symbol will switch or be reversed and will point onto the other side. Therefore, uh, my answer is x is greater than 7 over negative 14, which can be simplified to or reduced to negative 1 half. The same problem can be done by organizing the same steps horizontally. For example, I rewrite my problem. And then I add 8 to both sides, but I am organizing everything hor horizontally. Once you have done many of these problems, then you can choose which style you prefer doing a problem vertically or horizontally. The math does not change. Like here the 8's cancel. You'll be left with only the negative 8x. Bring down my x's. Do the math minus 1 plus 8. That will still give you a positive 7 like the other problem. Now you can subtract the excess. You add this to and it gives you negative 14x. Bring down my 6, no wait, this just cancelled. Bring down my 7. bring down my positive 7, and again the last step will be to divide by negative 14, which I can rewrite like this, horizontally. Remember this is the, all, the other symbol for dividing. Either symbol means the same thing. Switch the symbol or reverse it since I divided by a negative. And again, I can reduce this as a negative one half or a negative zero point five.
Number nine, solving the longer problem. This problem has a couple more steps, but again, it's the same concept. Combining like terms eventually. The difference is this problem involves parentheses. Therefore, we are to distribute first. Let's, let's do that. By distributing, meaning multiplying. 8 times 7x is 56x. 8 times 8 is 64. I'm not going to multiply the 3, I'm just going to bring it down. The 3 is not inside the parentheses, so it does not get multiplied. Then 9 times 2x, that's 18x. 9 times 5. The 9 gets multiplied times the 5, then after that you divide by 3. Let's take it one step at a time. 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. The 3 is the denominator. The 3 will divide on the next step. So let's see. So far, I have 56x. Then I'm going to combine like terms. 64 minus 3, that will give me a positive 61. Bring down my inequality. Bring down the 18 x and now I'll go ahead and divide 45 divided by 3 that will give you 15 now I have a problem just like number 7 I combine like terms from one side onto the other let's combine the x's first it's a positive 18 x so I'm going to subtract 18 x from both sides Notice how I organize my problem, lining up the axis underneath the axis. Now let's see, let's do the math. 56 take away 18. That will give you 38x. Let's see, what do I have to bring down? The inequality for sure. And then, on the same step, I can combine the numbers. We moved the x's here, so let's move the numbers onto that side. Let's go minus 61 and minus 61. So the 61's cancel on one side, and then I do the math on the other side. 15 and 61, they are both negative, so I'm going to add them up. 15 and 61, adding them up will total you 76. So negative 70. Last step will be to divide by 38 both sides. We are dividing by a positive 38, therefore the symbol does not change. And our answer is x76 divided by 38. 38 fits into 76 two times, so that's a negative 2. There's your answer.